plan. Welcome to Morocco. Hey there, I feel like I can do this again. I can I can have my camera back. Where can you get that hat? So hey, if someone in Morocco has a really big do they say that he's hung like a camel instead of a horse? I mean, that's why they call me Andres Camel. Low. Andres Camel. I gotta go. <laughs> Still want to have kids? Everybody, I introduced you, Andres Camel. Hey. Oh. You ready to learn how to speak camel? Let's do it. Okay, this is how you say, where's the library? Oh, I think the library's that way. According to him. Oh, thank you. I feel like Lawrence of Arabia. I can totally feel my white savior complex kicking in. You say that again about my mother and I will knock you off that camel. Andres is fighting every impulse in his body to not take all of these side salads and throw them in this bowl to make some kind of Moroccan chipotle. He's doing good though. Morocco is a truly beautiful country. And Marrakesh is a city you can't mistake with anywhere else. We really enjoyed getting lost in the alleys around the Medina and meeting some really lovely people. Okay, how come they're allowed to drive mopeds at the mall, but we're not even allowed to drive bird scooters on the beach? Hey, America, here, try to catch up. The whole place feels like a giant terracotta garden. But, big but. We had a really hard time getting over the, we'll call them cultural differences. Uh, human rights abuses. That really made us appreciate where we come from. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but that sound means it's time for prayer. I'm gonna pray that we don't get arrested for doing this. We were aware before coming that homosexuality is illegal here, punishable by up to six months in prison, but everybody we met all over the world ensured us that in Morocco that wasn't really enforced. For tourists. It is obviously date night, you can tell, because Max has his wrinkly Shh, shirt on. It's date night, you're gonna get in prison for like six months. It's raisin night. It's, it's raisin night. <laughs> <laughs> it became harder than we realized to look past this especially during Pride Month. And although in the States we have a long way to go, and Morocco, when compared to other Islamic countries, is very progressive for women and even queer people, not being able to be ourselves in public really put a damper on the whole experience. Yeah, kind of felt like losing the ability to use your right arm. My humps, my humps, my humps, my humps. My lovely lady humps. It's lady lumps, get it right. Also, although it's super impressive that everybody here speaks at least three languages, it does feel like they've perfected the art of tourist trapping. The tour we took outside of town just felt like a shuttle from gift shop to gift shop to gift shop. We're getting an herb tour. This is Moroccan poppers. How is it, Andres? <laughs> Check it out. It's Chewbacca. They did our laundry in the Riyadh without even asking us. Yeah, and then they tried to charge us $50 for what was essentially a half a backpack's worth of clothing. That's five times what we paid in New York City. So, for anyone looking to visit Marrakesh, remember to bring about twice as much money as you think you need, no PDA in public, whether you're gay or straight, and do not take pictures with the monkey person, the guy with the monkey in Central Square, because that's animal, animal abuse. abuse. See you next week. Peace be with you. Is anyone looking? Okay. That was a friend kiss. Probably.